Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to be doing another recursion uh, problem. And in this one, we're going to be finding the average in Python. Um, it's pretty, uh, I think it's pretty simple to find the average of a list uh, in Python. It's all like kind of already built in. Um, but uh, in this one, we're going to be using recursion, kind of going deeper, like one step in finding, uh, finding the average. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we're using Sublime Text as our editor, and um, and uh, we have a command window, uh, uh, the terminal we're running. Uh, I'm already pointed to the to the directory where the script is saved. So let's get started. So first, um, we're going to just we're going to do an import. So we're going to do import map, and we're, first we're going to define our list. So let's define define our list okay. and then so we'll do a couple values so one three seven 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 so this is our list here okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to create our um what we're going to call our average so the, as our input is going to be the list um, but ultimately, we're going to create a helper function, as in recursion, recursive functions. It's very helpful to have um, have another helper function in order to kind of traverse through a, da a data structure. Um, so that that takes like two parameters. So let's get started. So our function get average, and then uh, call x. Uh, you can call it anything you like. And then actually we're going to return another function that we're going to call get average and then h for helper x. And then we're going to start with our index o. In order to find the average, like um, we need to know the length of x. Um, but it's not like, uh, it's uh, actually, you know what you could do? Like there's actually two ways you could do it. You could keep returning, you know, kind of carry, carry oh, index zero and then carry on to index one, keep uh, keep adding, you know, keep recursively adding your helper function. And then and then at the end, you can do divide by the length or uh, you can do, uh, you can add the index value and divide by the length as it is, and then just keep adding those values. So at the end, you just have to add zero and then you'd be done. It's kind of similar to this. So A plus B divided by D uh, say D is the length, and then you had two two values in your list, uh, and then A and B are at, A is at index zero, B is at index one. So this would equal A divided by D plus B divided by D, right? So that's e equivalent. So that's kind of the method we're going to be looking. Uh, we're going to be going with so average helper, and then X, and then our I could be our index. So then uh, our base case is going to be if i ever reaches the length of x, right, uh, we're going to return 0. Uh, we can add 0, which won't change anything to our sum. So that's our, that's our base case. Else, this is going to this is going to be a recursive case. Uh, we're going to return x at the index i divided by length of Divide by the length of x, right? And then you can add another uh, parentheses in here just to kind of contain it. And then uh, we're going to recurse. Uh, get average h with the original array, and then i plus one. That's our recursive case. Uh, no semicolon there. And uh, yeah, so we can try with the. Uh, we'll save this. Save it, and then we can try with what we uh, what we with our uh, defined list. So, um, get average. Um, average test equals get average h, and then call it with x, 
and then another comment here. So print average to print, print, and then average test. Uh, we're expecting this value to be uh, a five. Five. Right, so we'll save this. Go in here, and then we're gonna go, and then call, call our function. Uh, let's see. Print average x. Oh, in here. Um, actually, we wanna just call it on get average. That was our mistake. There goes the bug. Clear. Make sure, yeah, just call the main function. So this is the main function, and this is the helper function. So we can helper, helper function. Right. Save it. Run it. So we're getting 4.9 and then so many nines over. Um, what you can do is if you want to get an integer value, um, you can do this. Uh, you can use a ceiling from your math import. So you can go to math, math.ceiling, and then add another parentheses. Let's save it. And then I'll run our command again. So then yeah, there we go. there's our average. Um, yeah, so I think another good way is to uh, get better understand Python is very like uh, kind of uh, everything's like pretty much defined. Uh, it's like meant to be pretty simple. Um, but uh, if you are ever interested in like how a function is created, um, what kind of goes behind the scenes, what kind of logic is required, what kind of ultimately like rudimentary, like the kind of most basic level, like if it's doing this kind of thing, or is it doing like the divide at all the way at the end? Um, uh, it's, I think I, you get a better understanding. Um, so hope you enjoyed this uh, recursion um, video. Uh, take care and uh, any comments, suggestions would be really helpful. Thank you and see you in the next video.